I'm getting ready to do a motorcycle camping trip and I'm getting all my camping gear one at a time and I just received the other day a US Army tent one-man tent it's uh, it's called the improved combat shelter and it's made by ORC industries here in the US and I guess before this tent was made soldiers had to improvise sort of with tarps or a poncho it, it's kind of hard to imagine I'm not I, w I was never in the military so I don't know but from other YouTube videos I've seen before this tent there was not a tent for soldiers to use uh, I guess when they're out in the field uh, for their for themselves uh, individual tents and what appealed to me about this is that it's small it's for one person and it's being army surplus this is how I got it it's army surplus goods but this was this is actual tents used by the military and so you know it must be good for reasons I've stated in other videos or actually the video about the the bivy bag the um, military modular sleep system you know that this had to go through a bidding process there were certain minimum standards of quality a bunch of manufacturers submitted their product and the army chose hopefully the best one if not the one that was the lowest bidder in any case, even if it was the lowest bidder, it had to meet certain minimum quality standards. And from taking this tent out of the bag, you can just feel it. The carry sacks, they're made pretty well. The black inner is a waterproof coating and it doesn't feel cheap. The tent poles, they are, they feel very good. They're, I guess, aluminum and shock corded. And the tent material itself is pretty much just like the stuff sacks that it came out of. Here I'm taking off the rain fly. So it's a two part tent. There's the rain fly that will go on top. And as you can hopefully see, all the seams are taped or welded, it's waterproof and it's got the nice digital camo print and there's a zipper uh, opening which is surprisingly for the back of the tent the front of the tent the fly is arranged so that it's kind of like an overhang and there's no zipper closure just the back has it and here i'm spreading out the main body of the tent itself the camo actually print goes onto the ground and then the solid green part is the top and there's mesh on the very top to help for ventilation and so maybe that's why it's a solid color anyways these these uh, tent poles they go together almost automatically it was surprising how it just went together so easily and there are three poles I'm actually putting the first pole I laid across the top, it's actually the pole for the fly. And you'll know that because it's shorter than the other two. And so the two longer ones are for the tent. So I'm here, I'm putting it correctly. That's one of the longer ones. And then here's the second one. I made a mistake. There's a loop on top of the tent that you're supposed to thread the poles through, but it still works. Uh, I put up the poles. You put the ends of the poles through grommets at each corner and then it'll stay in place. It'll lock and then you lock the clips to each of the poles. And once that's done, you can lift it up and move it around. Here I'm trying to show how wide it is. It's just wide enough for one person basically. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's mesh on the very top. The top two panels are mesh 
for ventilation. And then this front door, there's mesh outer and then a solid inner. So when you're inside, you could open the inner part and have the mesh uh, closed for ventilation and keeping bugs out. The rain fly was a bit uh, not intuitive to put on. So you have to thread the pole, the shorter of the three poles, through a loop at the top. And then uh, it took me some figuring. I had to look up a YouTube video to see how it's supposed to be done because the instructions, uh, they don't, they're pretty minimal and they don't really explain, or at least I couldn't understand from it how you're supposed to attach the, the fly and the fly is like a triangular shape so it's uh, you you have to try to do it first and maybe see how other people do it like I did watching a YouTube video to see how it's oriented and so that pole goes the rainfly pole goes perpendicular to the tent poles and the fly has grommets on each end that you have to insert the pole through That'll give it the tension and the shape so that it'll, you know, act as a roof to shed water if it should rain. And then at the four corners, there are buckles that you just snap into place. The bottom of the tent at each corner has a buckle. And you can also put the grommet for the fly under the tent poles as well for extra security. Now I'm setting this up in my apartment so I'm not able to stake down the, the corners and the back of the rainfly actually has straps so you can stake, that, stake it open and stretch it out. You'll see later what I'm talking about. And so the inside, it's got a, <coughs> excuse me, it's a waterproof lined inside. So I've seen videos where somebody was camping in it and it was raining and water was like streaming down all around the tent, but it was not coming inside the tent. So you know it's a good product when you see videos like that showing the tent in action. W another video I saw talked about some complaints about this tent in that it's very bare bones. There's nothing to attach like a lantern at the top there's no inner pockets to put your things in there to kind of keep things together and one of the videos i saw was by an actual soldier who used this uh, out when he was uh, deployed and he figures it's so that you're ready to go you know like you're sleeping here and if you suddenly need to get up and go you can you know, you won't have your stuff all spread around and in different pockets and it'll take time to get those things out. You should have everything in your pack, is what the guy was saying, so that you are ready to go and you won't hold things up or hold other people up or lose your stuff because you should have everything in your pack and ready to go. So I'm five foot nine. Uh, I could stretch out. I have room. Uh, there was room above my head so I guess you could put things inside like your your bag or your backpack or whatever uh, in, in the case of what this was designed for your pack your military pack I guess or your boots and then the back side there's a vestibule and so there's a second door it doesn't have the mesh but you can open it and there's a back side and it's kind of collapsed because you should tie it up, stake it and tie it up so that it kind of stretches it out. Uh, but there's also a zipper for the fly so you can go in, come in through the back or out the back too. And that vestibule creates like a storage space so you can put other things too, I guess, and keep it protected under the rain fly. there's the vestibule part and everything's all this dark black so once you're inside and you close the whole front door 
you will be pretty much blacked out. I mean, some light, I saw another video that some light does come in through where the zippers are. But other than that, it was pretty dark. So you could sleep in it when it's light out and uh, have somewhat restful sleep, I guess, because it's dark. So those are the instructions. Very minimal. It's um, It wasn't very detailed, as I mentioned earlier. The rain fly part wasn't very clear because it didn't really have good illustrations about it. I also didn't really, I read it, but it's a very short description of how to do it. And it doesn't really tell you how to orient the uh, fly onto the tent. Those are the stakes. Really nice uh, metal, I would assume aluminum. Uh, it's got the company stamp on there and you know you can see it's got a nice place to tie the guidelines and each stake has that black cord through it there's extra buckles if you break any of them you can use those and there's the guidelines to force or hold the fly open <laughs> and then here's the adhesive for repairing i guess the interior or any part that might uh, i don't know get damaged. Everything's made in the US, so it's a pretty good feeling to, I mean, of course it should be. This is for the US Army. It would be terrible. I mean, it wouldn't make any sense if it was made outside. You know, you'd be kind of giving away military secrets if it was made by a country other than here, right? I mean, if a foreign country was making your U.S. Army goods, that's pretty ridiculous, right? So it just makes sense. Everything is made here in the U.S. And it's very high quality stuff. I mean, this this cost me about a hundred bucks, and you know that's w the other reason why I got this tent. Because if you look at the tents out there for one person, they're like at least twice the price and there's just too many to choose from you just don't know which one to go with right here at least and you can watch reviews and stuff and it might help you pick the the best one but here at least you know the army uses it they depend on this to keep their soldiers dry and give them a good night's rest hopefully and so you can just kind of know that it's been vetted and it's going to be good to use for my purposes at least for motorcycle camping. Alright, well I hope that was helpful to you. If so, please click like and subscribe for more content.